Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're joining us pretty early, aren't they, guys? Yeah. We just had breakfast. What did Daddy cook today? Pancakes. Uh, pancakes. Is that your favorite? Yeah. They love pancakes. They could probably eat them every day if we would let them. But I have a little something outside. We have to go load up in the car. Ransom's got to go. But he needs to go check on his pigs. I didn't hear any snorts or any hollers out there, Ransom. You want to go check on them? I haven't checked on him. You need to go check though, okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Go out there and see if your pigs are there. What in the world? What is it? Where are they? What happened? I don't know. Someone stole the pigs and half the fence? The pigs are gone. Oh, they're not there. Where are they at? Ransom, did you check on them last night at dark? No. You didn't check on your pigs last night? No. They must have got so sad that you didn't check on them and ran away, you think? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys load up. I'm going to take Ransom to look behind the shop for him real quick. Ransom, what do you think happened to the pigs? I don't know. You think they went to go live with Papa or somebody? No. You don't think so? Uh -uh. All right, let's go check. You see him? Oh, there they are. Juni, Cooney. Ransom thought you were gone for good. Did you thought they were gone? All right, we better run back up there. Mama's ready for him to leave. But good morning, Juni. Good morning, Cooney. They have a bunch of hay. They do have a bunch of hay. You like their new pen? Yeah. All right, let's go. Run, 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 run. Mama's going to be late if we don't get a, get there in time. We don't want Mama to be late. Ah. So Cassie and the kids are off to school. You can see the sun is coming up right back here behind me. But there's one very important animal that I have to tend to. First, uh, this is actually my second full day here on the farm. Uh, officially, stay at farm dad. So what does a stay at farm dad do? Well, I'm going to fill you in today a little bit. Stay at farm dad basically takes care of the farm, also takes care of the kids. So you saw this morning, the kids were eating breakfast. So I made them breakfast this morning. Also um, this afternoon, I'm gonna be picking them up from school and taking them to a basketball game because uh, Cassie has to drive one of the vans. But let's go ahead and do an update on Shelby. Shelby? So if you guys remember, Shelby uh, just was spayed and you'll see the cone of shame around her neck. She instantly started licking her wounds when she woke up. So. I'm gonna take it off and let her run around for a while and watch her um, to make sure she doesn't look. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, baby. Hang on. I know you're excited to go. You're excited to go. Go, all right, go, 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 Shelby, go. Go, Shelby, go. Go, Shelby, go. Don't wait on me, go. Go run, do. She wants to make sure nobody left any food out here while she was gone. So if you missed it yesterday on catching up with the walkers, uh, we moved the pigs and it was quite the adventure with Cassie and I. So if you guys missed that, go over there and check it out, Shelby. Don't jump on me and I'll pet you, girl. Okay, thank you. Oh, Shelby's a good girl. She's just full of energy because she's been up. All right, I'll check your food and water. Let's go check your food and water. All right, Zena. How's the big girl over here in the turkey pen? Well, good morning, Tom Henry. You guys will see all the grass is starting to have a little bit of green to it because we've had days in the 60s, 60 degrees. Shelby, we can't lick. Don't, don't be licking back there. So this is, a, I have to watch Shelby to make sure she doesn't lick or do anything that's going to hurt her. 
from healing. We are vocal this morning. So there's your update on Shelby. I'm gonna go get her her very last pain pill. The doctor sent her home with some pain medicine. Um, one a day for three days and she is running like wild. Hey Shelby. So I'm gonna go get her her pain medicine and uh, make sure she has it. Wait, easy girl. But I do have to keep an eye on you to make sure you don't try to lick your wounds, okay? All right, so I don't know how you guys administer medication, but we have found a little piece of cheese. Shelby, Shelby. With her medicine inside that, works awesome. You like that, don't you, girl? Okay, good girl. We can't wait for Shelby to be all healed up so she can be back out and running around full time and back to normal. She's a, she's a good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. Okay. So I didn't get to show you uh, the new uh, pin for Junie and Cooney very long. So I'll bring you out here real quick and show you that because I like to try to let Shelby run around for at least 20 or 30 minutes at a time, uh, a few times a day to get some of her energy out. So what we did out here is we just use one of our Premier One uh, fence panels for pigs. We got them set up and we pulled all the old hay out of uh, this pen into here. So that way, They've got that old hay to eat on and roll around in if they want. We've got their water set up. Uh, their shelter's in good shape over here, so. Junie and Cooney are doing okay. Hey, pigs. Pigs, 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 pigs. So I'm gonna talk about something that's probably not all that popular, and that is scooping poop so i knew when we got a dog that there was going to be extra work involved yes shelby i want you to stay down though and i'll pet you down here i knew when we got a dog there would be extra work involved because if you ever have owned a dog you know there's always extra work involved and so a lot of you um were after me because i did not think it was a good time to get a dog and i didn't then but i knew coming up probably would be a better time because Cassie had Christmas break and I knew that this um, change was probably going to be taking place sometime after the first of the year and I would have extra time on the farm. So that leads me to today. Dirty jobs have to be done so where is Mike Rowe when you need him? I got to scoop all the poop out of her pen to make sure she has good living conditions and um, it just happens though. It's nature. You're going to get a dog, you're going to get a cat, you're going to get animals. There's going to be things that are unpleasant that you don't like to do, but you have to do them anyway. So I'm going to clean it up. So I'm going to spare you showing you the poop, but just know how much I love my wife because I am doing this for her. I'm not doing it for you, Shelby. Just to be clear here, I'm doing this for my wife. Watch out, girl. Watch out. Cassie, this is for you. And I was hoping to catch it for you guys. There is the beautiful sunrise. Let's get a little bit of a different view here for you maybe there you go the sun's coming up a little bit of a frosty morning colder than i expected but it is beautiful that must really feel good after having that collar on Shelby rubs her neck right against the grass. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Sue. So we have been running around with Shelby for probably close to an hour now, so I'm gonna get her back in her pen. Wanna show them how good you get in your pen? Wanna show them? All right, let's go to your pen. Come on, let's go to your pen, girl. Look at her. She is such a good girl. So, oh my goodness. Good job, Shelby. Good job, girl. Well, the sun's a little bright, but don't you think Shelby did an awesome job just coming out here and getting in her pen? So I'm gonna get her comb back on her. A few more days of that and we'll be done, uh, but she's doing really well. So if you guys have been watching us long, you know that one thing that we like is land. We have 60 acres here. 
And we have a couple other small parcels spread out. Well, today I am actually going to get to sell one of our small parcels that we have um, in a town nearby. So it's uh, less than an acre, maybe about three fourths of an acre lot that we purchased over 10 years ago in a tax sale. The guy at the time that the tax sale happened, he had the house and I think he planned on selling it because when they have a tax sale, any neighbor's properties that they have, they come and let you know, hey, we're gonna sell this for uh, delinquent taxes. You're welcome to bid on it if you wanna bid on it. And so they sold it. I ended up buying it. Um, I thought it was a good price when I bought it. I didn't know anything about it really, to be honest. It was kind of sight unseen. Uh, it was a sale for delinquent taxes. So I bought it and I knocked on the guy's door because when I went to look at the property, it was a triangle and one corner of the triangle was actually the front yard of this guy's house. So I went and talked to him about it and said, hey, I just bought this property. It looks like it's the front of your house. Um, are you sure you don't want to, to buy this land? And they basically ignored me. So about six months later, the property sold. So I figured out why they ignored me. Well, two or three years later, I went back to the house and said, hey, I have this land for sale. I'm having to pay the taxes on it. If you're interested in buying it, it joins you and it's your front yard. When you step out of your front door, it's my property that you're stepping onto. Of course, they had a right of way into their driveway, I'm sure. I wasn't gonna try to shut them down or anything. But they also were not interested in buying it. And they also sold the house about six months to a year later. So I don't know what the people's deal was, but the person living in it now called me and said, hey, did you know that you own the, my front yard? And I said, yes, I do. But so, guess what? Today, I am going to the courthouse and they are actually going to buy it. So it's one of those things, I really didn't want to sell it. Um, I thought I could do something with it one day. So I've just kind of been holding it and maybe do, who knows, we could do a, an Airbnb or you could rent it. It actually had a trailer house on it before. So it had a little spot for a trailer house, um, probably septic and water and that type of thing. But I also knew owning this guy's front house made me uncomfortable and I would like to sell it to them if they wanted to buy it. So today's the day it's finally happening and we'll get some closure on this little piece of property. So I'll be going to town later, going to the courthouse, taking care of that business and after that, we'll be picking up the kids. But. So I just got back home. I uh, had a little bit of a change of plans. I ended up going out to my grandparents' house. They had a dryer that was throwing a breaker, having some electrical things. So I went and um, helped them out. And now I've got to rush around just a little bit, try to get the animals fed. But I thought I would show you an update on two things, um, feeding the pigs and Missy in her little habitat that I built for her. All right, we have all the Highland cattle being taken care of over here. And then we got little Missy right back there in the back. Girl, you ready to eat? All right, come on down here. Come on, Missy. Come on, baby. I'm gonna take her feed and pour it just right there. There you go, girl. All right, hop on in there. Everybody wants to see how you're doing. There you, there you go. So she goes right in. And that's a new tub for her to eat out of. She's not eaten out of it before. But goes right in there and starts eating. Shelby, what do you think, girl? Huh? So while I do chores, I let Shelby run around and play so I can watch her. She usually stays with me. And as long as I don't see her licking, then we're in good shape. All right, next up, Junie, Cooney. You guys ready for some food? Somehow you get your food dish way over here. Ah, Uh-oh. Ah, I got my legs stuck in that fence. I was just waiting to get shocked. Having these uh, rubber shoes on might be helping though. All right, guys. Here, let me get this. Let me get this for you. Very, very wet. I think they're happy based on the sound of that noise. Junie and Cooney are all set up. Ransom had a sigh of relief this morning once he saw that the pigs were just fine. 
let's see they've already they've already started rooting up a hole over here about eight inches deep and then over there's a little rooting spot so we're gonna get some rain i think tomorrow so i'm sure by then they're gonna have this whole thing rooted up Cheek, 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 cheek. Hey, babies. How's the cheeky chicks? All right, and the goats. Let's get you guys fed. Honey, Mariposa. So the last thing I'm gonna have you guys do with me is check some eggs before we hit the road. Gotta go to the courthouse and then pick up the kids. But how many eggs can we get today? Uh, yesterday we had more eggs than we've had in a long time. Uh, we had four, and so I'm hoping that we have, oh yeah, we've got one in here. So this little chicken just started laying again because this is the only green egg we get. And she hadn't laid in probably two months. And we got a green egg yesterday and one today, so that's awesome. And now some of these hens might lay later in the day, but let's check over here too. And we have spoke to other people that are in the same boat that we are. They do not um, put light in the coop and they do not do anything extra for the birds. They just let them kind of rest during the winter. That's what we do. We've done it for years and they always come back around the lane. We just don't get as many eggs. So it looks like that's it right now. So we got four eggs yesterday, one today, and I am uh, doing my rounds a lot earlier than normal. So hopefully by the end of the day, they decide to lay two or three more eggs. The last animals we need to check on, and I still got to give them a bell of hay, is the Angus cattle. And, uh, hey, X. They are chowing down. And on nice days like today, they probably don't have to have any extra grain, but this makes sure that they maintain a good body type for when it does turn cold in just a, a few more weeks, or a couple weeks, is what the weatherman says. We'll see. Solo blackberry over here. Hey, girl. You're all right. You're okay. You're okay, baby. Let's come over here to pet you. Yeah. So, we have decided this is either North America or a tornado. We don't quite know. Shelby, what do you think? Tornado? Because you act like a little tornado. Let's see what Blackberry has on this side. Oh, that's a whole nother state. All right, you guys let me know what you think. What state is that? I, that kind of looks like an hourglass. If it was a little bit skinnier on the inside. What do you think, Shelby? None of my coworkers seem to talk back to me. The cows don't talk. Jojo, he never has too many words to say. Shelby, she just slobbers on me. <laughs> I like to have fun with my coworkers. As long as HR doesn't call me and tell me I'm in trouble, I'm all right. That was just a joke, man. I'm just playing around. All right. So I just finished up at the um, courthouse. I was gonna say bank, I'm headed to the bank next, but this is our, our local Mays County courthouse. And the deal is done. The, uh, it was 0.67 or 0.68 eight acre lot. And the individual that is um, buying it plans to be selling their home in the next couple of years. So they wanted to make sure that they had all the land and all the access they needed for their house, which I understand. What I don't understand is why the people before didn't do their diligence like this gentleman did and actually buy it. So it's one of those things I kind of hated to be in that position, but we bought it um, knowing that it did have some value because it had a lot of highway frontage. Oh, Cassie's calling me. Let me talk to her. So Cassie's wondering what I want to do with that money, but you guys know we're going to invest it in something. So we can find something um, to buy, maybe put a little money into and sell. You got any ideas? Let me know down in the chat. But I'm going to go to the bank right now, and then I'm going to go pick up the kids and take them 
uh, towards the basketball game, but we're going to go to the feed store and run some other errands. Uh, you know, just the life of a stay-at-farm dad that's not really on the farm, so. Why would I? Mazzy. Yeah? What is Rain Ransom missing right now? This. The fire truck? Yes. He loves fire trucks, doesn't he? Yeah. Little guy is asleep. He can not hold. Where are we headed? To Arby's. To the feed store. Arby's. Then Arby's. Mazzy's favorite. Today. Mm -hmm. All right, we made it. <sighs> Sleepy boy, you waking up? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Well, you want to go what, in the feed store with me? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Guess what you missed on the way there? What? On, on the way here? What? The big fire truck. With its lights on. You love fire trucks, don't you? And I saw a fire station on the way here. Hey, you ready to go get some feed for Junie and Cooney? Yeah. Did you bring your money? Nope. <gasps> you right. have a wallet right there. <laughs> All right, I'll buy it. Mazzy, do you have any animals you want to buy food for? Susu. Susu? And. Ransom, what did you see in that store you wanted? Um, a little catch pin. A little catch pin? Uh, but you were all real metal rodeo pin. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Maybe whenever we uh, come back one day, we'll have to save our money up, okay? Hey, could you do that? Could you carry all that feed? That's a bunch, isn't it? Ugh. I think you could. Ransom, who forgot the coat? Me. So what are you wearing? A little bit too big, I think. You want to show mom and coaching? All right. So we made it back home officially. Ranger, if you guys saw that, it looked like a little bit of a cheap shot. Was that a cheap shot? Yeah. Or was he really blocking out? Yeah, it was a cheap shot. He, Ranger says it was a cheap shot. He just took him right out. So, Ranger, you're pretty tough, buddy. You got right back in there and shot your next free throws. You, did, you made the first two, missed the second two. Yeah. But you did good tonight. Good job, buddy. Thank you. So now Ranger's going to get in the shower. And um, Ranger's got to get a shower. I had to get Mazzy's hair brushed, but everybody's doing good, and I'll catch you up outside real quick with Shelby. Okay. Shelby's going to jump on me. So we came out to check on Shelby. Uh, I let her out as soon as we got home because she is just full of energy, and I hate to keep her locked up, but I think a few more days, and she'll Hold be on. done. You got to stay down, Shelby. Ransom, did you have fun at the basketball game? Yes. You did? Yes. So we made it back to the house, and I told the kids that if we got home in time, and they all got showers and ready for bed, that we would open a package we got from a subscriber. So I'm going to let Ranger open it one just a second, and it says, Enjoy your gift for the Walker kids. Ranger can share with Mazzy and Ransom. Hope you enjoy. 
They were a rock hound as a kid as well from Kathy McNamara. So Ranger, why don't you open up and see what it's like? A little bit of rock dust. Yeah. Let me hold that. Yeah. So, Dancing Bear, break your own geos. Discover the crystal inside. Wow. I have a big one. You guys want to hold a couple up and show them how big they are? Uh, you can already see the inside of this. So, if you guys Whoa. saw one of our last videos, show them Ransom. Whoa. If you saw one of our last videos, we started off with Ranger opening up a geode and we got some good tips from you guys um, that we need to open them with a chisel or a saw. So we're going to work on the next ones. We're going to open with a chisel or saw. What do you guys want to tell them? Thank you! So we'll try to get all the kids involved next time we open them up. Let's go ahead and put them back in the box right now, guys. So that was another full day as a stay at farm dad. So I did have one more thing that I got the other day that I wanted to show you guys. This was from one of my coworkers at work uh, when I left. And it's a card that's wrapped in seeds. So um, just uh, well wishes, um, wishing me fresh air and nice soil. A big thanks to my coworker Stephanie for this card. And this is actually basil, holy basil, marigold, yarrow and cone flowers. So how cool is that? Um, a very creative card and I'm going to try to put that in the ground. You guys saw the pigs are now out of the garden. So later on this uh, spring I'll put that in the ground and see if we can get it to grow. So that was a full day and I hope that you did enjoy going along with us from the morning till night. Um, part of being at home for me is also being able to help Cassie. So she's had ball games on Monday night and Tuesday night this week. She has been out late, so I've been trying to help with the kids and do extra stuff around the house. And I love it. I love being at home, being able to be here for my family, and I'm able to be here for you. So thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. We hope you have a great day, and God bless.